Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Blind75 and if you do want to check out other problems from that playlist, it's linked down below this video as well as on my channel. So what is this question? It is top k frequent elements. Given an integer a nums and an integer k, return the k most frequent elements. You may return the answer in any order. So example one, we have the following input nums and k is two. We want to return the top two most frequent occurring elements. We see that one occurs three times, two occurs twice, and three occurs just once. So our output will be one and two. They are the two most frequent occurring elements. And example two, we have just the number one and we wanna return the most frequent element. So that is just going to be one by itself. And we have a follow-up. Your algorithm's time complexity must be better than n log n, where n is the array's size. Okay, so we want to find the k most frequent occurring elements. In order to find the most frequent occurring elements, we actually need to know the frequencies of every single element. For that, we are going to loop through our inputs and just keep counts of the number of times we've seen all our elements. So if this was our example, we had this input over here and k was two, we just want to loop through keeping track of how many times we've seen each element. For that, we're gonna use a dictionary. So what I'm gonna do is from collections, import a default dict. And all a default dictionary is, if you're not familiar with it, is it defaults the values to be zero. So we don't need to check if a key exists in our dictionary and then increase that count. We can just do it directly. So in order to define this dictionary, it's going to be a default dict of integers, which means all the values are defaulted to be an integer of zero. Now we're gonna loop through our input. So for num in nums, for every single element, we're just going to up its count. So d of num, the element we're on, plus equals one. Once we go out of this for loop, we're gonna have a dictionary with all the elements and their corresponding frequencies. So we're gonna see that one appears a total of three times, two appears twice, three appears once, and four appears three times. Now we have all of our frequencies. Now, if we want the k most frequent elements, an easy way to solve this would just to sort all of our key value pairs by their values. If we were to make a sorted list with all the values followed by the keys, we would have a list of lists where we would have four that occurred three times, then one occurring three times, two occurring twice, and then three occurring just once. We would take the first k elements and return that. But the time complexity for this would be n log n. We are sorting all n elements, but we want to do better than n log n. If we realize, right, we don't actually care about that entire sorted output that we are producing. We just want the top k elements. So there's no point in sorting everything. What we can do instead is keep a heap of size k and just have k sorted elements. So we're going to be going through our key value pairs and maintain a heap of size k. We are going to insert these key value pairs based on the values, the number of times they've occurred. And we want to keep pairs in the heap. That way we don't lose track of the corresponding key. So in order to do this, I am going to define a heap to be empty and I'm going to be looping through all of the items in my dictionary. So for key val in d.items. So right now I have an empty heap and my key is one and value is three. Now I want to push onto this heap if the length of my heap is less than k. That means I can still push elements in. So if length of heap is less than k, I'm going to push it in. So heap q dot heap push and I'm pushing onto my heap a list starting with a value and then a key. And we're putting value first, so it sorts on the value itself. It always sorts on that first element that we have. So what would this look like? We are pushing onto the heap, we are doing value and then our key. So right now we have three and one. So we go back in this for loop, key is two and value is two. The length of our heap is just one. We have one list in here, so we can push into our heap. So we push in two, two, and this is sorted in increasing order. So since our value is less than the previous value, it goes before that 31 that we had. Now, we don't only want to push in when our values are less than K, because what if we have a bigger value key pair? What if our dictionary had a key of zero that appeared five times? We still want to push it in even though we have a length of two. So we want to push in if our length of heap is less than K or the key value pair that we're trying to insert. So the value that we have is greater than the smallest value we currently store in our heap. So if value is greater than heap of zero. So what we have as our smallest pair here, and if it's smaller than the value of that pair, so zero, zero, if that's the case, we push into our heap. And what if we exceed K? That means we just want to pop off. So if the length of our heap is greater than K, we're going to do heap Q dot heap pop from that heap that we have. So let's go back into this for loop. 
We are now at key being three and value being one. The length of heap is not less than that K of two. And we want to check the value. The value is one. It's not greater than the two that we already have. So we don't push into it. And we also make a check. K is not greater than two either. So there's nothing to really pop off. We go back in this loop. And now our key is four and the value is three. We've seen four a total of three times. We make a check. The length of heap is not less than K but the value that we have three is greater than the value that we have in our smallest pair. So we're gonna push into our heap a pair of three, four. So we put in three, four over here. And since this was already sorted, every time we push into our heap, this is going to be done in log of K time. This is the same as a binary search or a binary insert. So it's going to be log of K. And we do this for all of our elements, which is why the time complexity for this is going to be N log K. And it's going to be better than that N log N we were discussing earlier. So now we just finished pushing into our heap, the three, four pair, and we make a check. The length of our heap is three and it's greater than that K we can have of two. So we're going to pop off from heap and we pop off that smallest pair. It's always going to be the one in the beginning over here. So now our heap is a length of K with the top two most frequently occurring elements. And we have a list of lists, but we want to return the actual elements that are the most frequently occurring. We don't really care about the number of times we've seen them. So we want to return that first index for every single pair that we have in our heap. So what we're gonna do is return a list of i of one for i in heap. All this is is a list comprehension. This is a quicker way to write a for loop Basically, we iterate through our heap. So I have I over here right now. I get what we have in I of one. So that's one. I loop through again and I get what we have at I of one now, which is four. So I'm going to be returning a list of one and four. These are the top two elements that are the most frequently occurring. And we can see that, right? Four occurred three times and one also occurred three times. So let's go ahead and submit this. No module named collection. This should be collections. Let's go ahead and submit. And it is accepted. Now we know time is n log k, but what about space? For space, if every single element appears just once, our dictionary is going to have n keys and all their counts are just going to be one. So we would potentially be storing as many keys as a number of elements in our input. So this is going to be O of n for space. So we just went ahead and solved top k frequent elements. We did a walkthrough with this over here. But if you have any questions with this whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.